Des, I don't know what to say to you, mate. I mean, I think, you know, most of us feel the same way. We're highly disappointed. We just, we have such big expectations on our team and the way that we want us to play and everything else. And, and every now and again, you just get pantsed, mate. Is that is that it? Oh, look, obviously, yeah, it's disappointing. But I think if you if you break the game down as a whole, um, we obviously had some pretty, pretty challenging times uh, to start our innings uh, under lights with a pink ball, which, um, yeah, we don't get a lot, get it get to play a lot of um, and also just a couple of key moments and um, yeah I think yeah when we break it down as a group we although the score line probably says we're a, we were a long way away I think um, yeah if we could change a few little moments here and there we've been a lot closer and um, yeah that's the nature of the game that we play and especially pink ball cricket it, it definitely changes how test cricket is uh, how you have to go about um, yeah, those situations. If you could turn the clock back and change one one big thing, what would it be? Would it be the way we bowled at them, especially in that second innings? Um, oh, look, I think we had them. Uh, I'm not sure the exact numbers, but I mean, they're, I think they were 230, 240 for six, um, which, you know, if we, we take a couple of quick polls there, suddenly we're, we're chasing something under 300, and, and that's, that's really realistic on that surface. Um, so, Again, uh, I don't think we were too far away, although the scoreline doesn't reflect that. But, um, yeah, that, that's the nature of this wonderful game that we do play. The 8 for 28, losing that yesterday, and you were sort of standing at the other end. What are you thinking when wickets are just tumbling around you like that? Yeah, it's it's um, it's inter- it's challenging. It, that, that is, it was some um, yeah, incredible bowling by, by those England bowlers under lights with that pink ball. And, um, yeah, it's a very challenging and it definitely tests your defence. And yeah, for me, it was just trying to find a way that I could keep trying to put pressure back on them and and go about, um, I guess, getting through that night stage, knowing that it would be a lot easier to bat in the morning um, with daylight. So yeah, it was taking each ball as it comes and, and still trying to puff my chest out, put a smile on my face and and um, yeah, get stuck in. Yeah, 57, not a great knock in the second innings, mate. What is the, I mean, did you explain to us, Numbdies, how different, how more difficult is it facing a pink ball at night? Yeah, we, we obviously don't get to do a lot of it. Um, and it's such a, a new new thing to test cricket. But yeah, it definitely is. It, it um, obviously swings around. And um, it also, I think the way the England bowlers, they, they probably didn't shape the ball a hell of a lot. They they use the surface and, and sort of bowl a lot of three quarters and wobble seams. And um, yeah, under lights, it definitely nibbles at pace. And I guess to try and make it as simple as possible. If, if you make a mistake in your line or, or your length as a batter in, in terms of what you um, go to, what you commit to, um, then you don't have time to adjust and, and sort of cover that that mistake that you've made under in those sort of conditions. So, um, yeah, I guess that accentuated that, yeah, when you're, you're trying to react and make split-second decisions, if you make a small mistake, that's that's your day done, and, and that's the nature of test cricket, I guess. Daryl Mitchell is with us on the platform. All right, so when you're bowling to these guys, are you are you in a test fr- frame, a headspace of bowling, or I mean, look, they're playing like they're playing T T Twenty cricket. How do you, how do you how do you adjust when you're bowling to them? Yeah, look, I think the cool thing for us as a group is we still took nineteen wickets and. You need to do that to, to win test matches. Um, we know they're going to come pretty hard, but that also means we know that it's going to create opportunities, which it did. And um, I think Timmy spoke about in the post-match conference saying that it's about, I guess, blocking up the runs and trying to build pressure in between those moments. And I thought we did it really well for periods. Um, it's cool that we'll, we've been through that as a group, but also now, now going to the basin, um, I guess knowing what that surface is more like in test cricket and also having a red ball in our hands gives us a lot of confidence um, to, to go about our business in our way and, and yeah, looking forward to, I guess, getting stuck into them again. Well, this is great to hear. So you're not intimidated by that. It's not like you're looking at that team going, oh, my God, they're the first 11, we're the third 11, they're so much better than us. You're not actually thinking like that. No, it's test cricket. You're, you're representing your country. You're, you've got a silver fan on your chest, and yeah, I know all of us are very proud to be out there and, and represent our country. And um, No, it's nothing like that. We're just, yeah, looking, enjoying being a bunch of 11 Kiwis going out there and, and getting stuck into into the English team and, and having some fun along the way. And um, it's not always going to go away, but we're going to do everything we can to try and, and win little moments. And hopefully that means we can walk away with winning test matches at the end. All right, well, look, I'm glad that you got this attitude, mate, because, you know, there's so many of us out there are just sulking. The only good thing about yesterday was that Australia did the same thing. Yeah, I mean, this is the nature of... Of test cricket is you're going to have days like that or night night periods where you, you do 
things don't go away and that's what makes the game the the beautiful sport that we love but um yeah i guess it's important for the public to know that we're doing everything we can to try and and be the best we can be and yeah you can't control everything in life and that's the same in cricket but um we're very proud to represent our country and we'll show up in three four days time whatever it might be and get stuck into another test match and be really proud to wear the black cap and and get yes and see what happens awesome dude appreciate your time very much how do you fill it in between now and wellington what do you do um, I've got my fam- family here at the moment, so we're about to go. I think we're going to go to the beach this afternoon and the two girls can go for a swim and then they'll head home tomorrow and we head off to Wellington and, and start the preparation up again for, for the test at the Basin, which um, I think we all know the Basin Reserves are a pretty special ground and I think day one and day two is pretty much sold out. So it's going to be awesome to see the banks all full and yeah, it'll be quite a cool test match, I reckon.